You know what I envision? I envision actually when it comes to the topic of Lolly that people are just very, very, very off the deep end when it comes down to it. When it comes to hating the subject, honestly. Like, if you gave them the choice of an auntie or whoever that does not necessarily like Lolly, the choice of honestly having the world to just have Lolly characters and you just like it and people just like what they like, or commit slip and slide, I am horrified that people would say they would commit slip and slide. I ain't got time for that, honestly. And that's just something that just feels very unfortunate. Like, hopefully that doesn't necessarily happen or no one takes that as a literal example or anything like that. But when it comes down to things, that's just kind of the mindset of people when it comes to aunties and lollies and stuff like that. When, when it, Or like, auntie lollicon people and stuff like that. Because it's like, there is no reason for people to be hating this damn hard off of it, right? Obviously, the Opera GX thing was something that happened. And that's part of the reason why I'm making this video. But when it comes down to things, it's just like, is this necessary to be hating this damn hard, right? Over something that doesn't exist. Is it this damn necessary to be hating over it? Because I feel like I got plenty of other things to do in my time than hate over something that people likes and, you know, be profitable when it comes down to things. It, it just feels weird to me. Like, real talk, why can't we just have people like a certain thing? and it just be it is what it is as long as it's not hurting nobody no one should care but for some reason we have to care because everyone think their opinion is so damn important so damn like valid and shit to the point you're just like you know it's just all you ever really see honestly anytime someone brings up lolly at this point especially when it comes to me and i have to say something about it anytime i feel like someone brings this opinion up I feel like I'm in a pool, just like chilling on a donut, and then essentially the the water that is, um, you know, that I'm floating on is essentially the arguments and the hatred and all that type of stuff that aunties that be having when it comes to lolly, and then even the whole lollicon debate when it comes down to everything and stuff like that. I'm just floating on top of that shit because I just don't care at this point. That's just kind of how I feel, honestly, and the fact that people still keep going about it and just not let people just enjoy what they enjoy is like you know the the, the more annoying thing right and some people might argue with you try to be like well we don't necessarily like it because you know it means that someone might be a predator well i can say that for literally every single content creator like a lot of content creators have been outed as you know predators for real and to be perfectly honest when it comes down to things they didn't need no lollies to do that so should we say the same thing about them too like should we be wary of every single content creator as well because we can do that honestly oh but we shouldn't do that because you know unless you're proven of something then that means you shouldn't know but you do the same thing to freaking lollicon so why not do that to them too i'm just gonna be honest with you especially when you have you know literally some of these people coming through and being extra mad about the subject and then end up finding out that they end up becoming like not even kidding the actual thing that you didn't want them to be and then it's just like well what then what then huh what exactly is the point then right or sometimes you have people that just really hate the subject but then they equally do or at least watch or be a part of other messed up things that is way worse than lollicon like muda has no type of room to talk honestly man likes death videos he adores those hoes. But some, the moment someone brings that shit up, all of a sudden, oh, I gotta race that shit. Like, no, no, we, we see that. Like, you can't be like Dream undoing your face reveal. Like, people remember shit. You've done it now. It's over with, right? It's it just so, again, weird and it's super annoying when shit like this happens, right? Because, yes, you have that part of people where people like Lolly Care just because they're cute. Some people like it for sexual reasons. It, it is what it is. I'm just the type of person that's just like, I don't care if it's lewd or not. I just want people to have the freedom to like and enjoy whatever they want to enjoy and draw whatever they like and enjoy whatever they want to enjoy. I like how somebody is so accepting of like death, murder, and blood, and killing, and all that other type of violence and shit. But the moment you chuck in a literal fictional character into something for some reason that's like the worst sin that you can honestly create for some reason and i'm compelled to ask why right 
like it's it's literally like the schoolgirl situation right people get so you know hot and heated about people you know getting mad at the panty shots getting taken away but you gotta realize that was a part of what the original concept of what it was right so it's stupid to not get mad about that because it was always a thing it was a part of what made schoolgirls schoolgirls it's not the whole feature of the game but like it's what a part of it was right same thing with lolly back in the old days of japan which no one likes to talk about accurately you gotta realize there's some old ass doujins old ass manga that come through that shows that lollies were used in a lot of lewd ways or used in ways where it was comedically lewd and stuff like that but no one really points that shit out though it's just like no nah, no nah, you can't necessarily accept it right it's like when let's be honest when the west started to accept anime and stuff like that they were more so on the side of like oh we accept now so you know now we have to change it to our standards right you can't just have it to be japanese anime no more now now it's part of american stuff right it's part of the western stuff now you have to set this to this social norm if you don't we're gonna bully the shit at you because we're always right and that's annoying right and that's just like americans that's just like literally everybody that has complained about this shit on twitter honestly when it comes to the uh, western side of things because it's just like bro you are not right all the time like we f up we make a whole bunch of bad decisions and poor choices constantly we are shitty ass people let's get that clear right now to be honest it ain't no different from what ed once said back in luna song song but we're americans we don't quit because we're wrong we keep doing the wrong thing so it's not right like bro that is not that's not good logic that's horrible logic that's the one sentence i will never forget any character has ever said because it's true literally every single time something comes through we don't like everybody got to come through and just kind of you know bash it until something stupid happens until it turns out that yes we are the winners at the end of the day when that is the shittiest thing that you could do when no one is necessarily trying to even be like a part of that nonsense right it, it's just so weird right and it, it doesn't make any kind of sense it just doesn't but you know what the sad part is too, when it comes down to this whole lolly debate subject and everything that it really builds up towards you can make the whole amount of research that you can get off of it you can basically look up so much information about the past do so much digging through the research actually bring up to light a lot of shit that people probably don't know but the problem is is that people are going to just straight up ignore you or you're going to play ignorant when it comes to it but at the end of the day you have the solid evidence but it doesn't matter because people just want to act stupid and be so emotionally charged about it even and i'll even go as far as with this even with people that has been abused and used as you know when they were younger and then they want to get mad for people liking this type of content but you also got to realize that there is people that has been through the same thing you've been through which also you know likes the content and that's like their way of kind of coping with life and stuff and just because you've been through a bad thing does not necessarily mean that everybody else has to suffer with you right that doesn't necessarily make a whole bunch of sense it really just doesn't at the end of the day because at the end of the day when it comes to all this it's not even about saving real children or like saving children entirely because the aunties don't care about that shit they, they do not honestly i care about it because i don't want to see anybody go through any more nonsense that they already have to which is why charity links will be in the description but when it comes down to things, they don't care about that shit. They just want shit to be gone because they want it to be gone. They just hate that type of shit because they hate that type of shit. That's the literal end-all be-all reason for things, right? It's why people like Nux, people like Muda, people, you know, of the caliber that just don't necessarily want to state their opinion on the subject, even though they're mainly focused with their content and channels and stuff like that. When it comes to that side of, you know, fiction and whatever, it's like they don't want to necessarily be a part of it or they're going to be against it just because they don't necessarily like it which at the end of the day hurts and hurts more than it does you know help out anything at the end of everything right like the reason why i go as far as to try to look up information research and stuff because i want people to be smart to better themselves but majority of like what you will see on the internet is people just downplaying shit making jokes about it just being dumb about it and that's essentially it it doesn't make any kind of sense again why it's like this 
at the end of the day, it, it really doesn't at the end of the day. Like, even if you, and even if you're someone, and I'm not saying that you have to, like, force yourself to like it or something like that. I'm not saying that at all. You don't have to like anything. But what I'm saying is, just accept that people like the shit and just move on. If you don't like it yourself, cool. I have no beef against you. But the moment you say, you know, you like it and someone judges you for it or try to go after you in some crazy dumb way, that's when I'm like, okay, this doesn't make any kind of sense. Why are you wasting resources and time, right? Just let people like enjoy what the shit they like. It, it is what it is at the end of the day. The time of what you have is the most valuable shit in your planet and yet you're wasting it chasing me or chasing someone else that likes Lolly. That doesn't make any sense. You're just giving me more of your time and power, honestly, and your energy, which why would you do that if you don't like it? Like it, it just feels weird, right? This is no better. This is this whole Lolly debate is dead ass no better than how so many people be like, the gender of a character or like the sexual orientation of a character and stuff like that this is in the this is this has been in the same wheelhouse for a very long time i'm just now realizing it is the same wheelhouse right this has always been in the same wheelhouse how except it's just in a different situation but it's in the same thing like people i i kind of starting to think that maybe people only care about a lolly character because they want to fight with other people when it comes down to it and you know try to debate that it isn't or it is and it's starting and it's starting to realize for me that it's getting that it's been at that point for a while right just like how people be like oh the gender of a character we need a trans character and all that type of stuff when that doesn't necessarily matter you don't need to have those characters y'all just want those characters and then at the end of the day you just forget about those characters and it doesn't make any kind of sense. And we are in that exact same situation, honestly, because of the answers and because of people that wants to keep fighting, you know, and that's just how it is, right? So it's literally no better than that situation. And it's really just hella annoying, which is why I don't necessarily like or even care so much to be a part of arguments when it comes to, you know, that's debate honestly because it's just like well if you're not gonna necessarily be a set or at least have a unbiased opinion going into things on either side then it's just like i don't really care to be talking about it honestly it just it's just very strange man it, it's just very strange I, I don't necessarily understand it right like when it comes to me personally when it comes to like, lolly characters i just like them because they're cute right and they do be hidden on some sexy ass levels when you know they are presented in some sexy ass way right and then you can't even get mad at people that be wanting to loot the characters when anime itself literally be showing these characters in suggestive situations like Kaneko do we need to see Kaneko but booty naked no but the creator liked it so you know what it's okay to get horny for Kaneko and whip your dick out like it is what it is or even when it comes to Atar from Kamikatsu that recently finished should we just be you know would, would it be you know all right to you know loot her yes because the show keeps on trying to do suggested things with wonder characters and two in the last episode they made it hella suggestive of her talking about some oh she gonna be licking bananas and stuff you know what that means or be having erotic magazines and shit you know what that means hell one of the magazines is quite literally her surrounded by popsicles on a bed you know what that implication is so when it comes down to things just let the Japanese people make their content and make what they want to make, right? It's their stuff. If they wanted to change it or if they wanted to shift it in a different way, then that's going to be their decision. They're still, they're still going to be fighting, of course, about that. But at the end of the day, we do not control anime. We do not. People in the West often think they can, but they don't. They don't control anime. They never invented the shit. You don't know the history of it, which majority of people on Twitter do not. And even when they try to look at the history, guess what? It's still inaccurate. So when it comes down to things, at the end of the day, if you like Lolly, cool. If you don't like it, cool. Just stop trying to fight somebody over the damn subject of it because it doesn't necessarily matter. Just enjoy some kudere ass lollies and just be done with it, which is also my favorite type of lolly because they're straightforward and they're emotionless they're also badass sometimes 
I just like me some cooter rays, honestly. I ain't gonna necessarily hold you. But when it comes down to things, that's essentially all I have for you today. It just, again, anytime I see stuff like this, and then pe when people especially get so hyped and hard when it comes to it, when it comes to like getting mad about the subject, especially trying to cancel people's sponsorships because that was the whole point of the Opera GX shit, it just seems a bit weird, right? Again, if it's a part of fiction you don't like, understandable, but at the very same time, it just, it just so foolish, honestly. And then that's also on the Opera GX's fault too, considering the fact that they didn't know what the hell the word mean. And it's just like, well, don't get mad at people because you didn't know what the word mean. Like, I'd imagine people would do their research before joining in on a bandwagon or something, but no one does that, honestly. And that's why the majority of the population of the planet Earth is very slow right that's why it's very stupid at least on the western side but that's essentially all i really have for you on this one like i said this, this whole debate is just really stupid honestly i kind of wish i could hopefully one day go to japan meet up with some lolicon artists and stuff and just see what they have their opinion on this whole subject and stuff like that because i don't think anybody else can do that job except me i'm gonna be very honest with you if i got yeah, to sound egotistical on one thing that's the one thing but yeah hopefully maybe one day we can if this channel does well, we can get somewhere and go to Japan and meet up with some artists or maybe even go do some research from back in the day to see what the Lollicon Boom was really all about and what stuff was there, right? So hopefully we'll have that one day. And that would be a kick-ass video to have. But that's essentially all I have for you today, so hopefully you enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, like your channel, else. Also follow me on the socials, and if you'd like to donate to the channel, Patreon is available as well. And until then, it's your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.